Welcome back to a new episode of Dragon News. I'm Jazz. And I'm Elisa. What are you doing? I'm disinfecting the air. Why? Because I feel the love in the air and it's gross. Oh, you aren't getting a Valentine's Day meme gram? A what? A Valentine's Day meme gram. The one where you give to your crush with the 10 out of 10 meme? No, I'm not. I really wanted the deluxe package though. The deluxe package? Yeah, it's like a regular meme gram, except you get more candy and a beautiful flower. Oh, that would be very sweet. Make sure to buy one for someone extra special, or just to catch your friend off guard. <laughs> Welcome to the question of the week. I'm Jazz. I'm Elisa, and the question of the week is, who is your Valentine? All right, so the question is, who is your Valentine? My Valentine? Myself. The question of the week is, who is your Valentine? My Valentine is Rachel Flack. Um, your wife? Yes. My wife. <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> Who's your Valentine? Um, I think my Valentine is. All right, Paulina. Who is your Valentine? Maggie. Maggie. Question for you, Who is your Valentine? No, seriously, that's easy. Myself. Who is your Valentine? Who is your Valentine? I don't have a Valentine. Welcome to our new segment of World News where we'll be talking about economy, politics, and local events. If you don't know by now, the government was shut down from December 22nd to January 25th, a grand total of 35 days, making it the longest in U.S. history. After the Democratic Party refused to sign a budget that included spending for a wall along the southern border, Trump used his executive powers to declare a national government shutdown. This caused conflicts with air trafficking, local government, and IRS disruptions, and government work pay. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, refused to budge even as Trump extended a compromise of limiting the government spending to $5 billion for said wall. She said that they will not negotiate until the government was reopened, leading to a complete standstill that lasted until the end of January. The shutdown cost America a grand total of $6 billion, making it more than what would have been needed for a wall. Some of the costs included uncollected taxes, increased interest on late federal payments, and 380 workers finally getting paid, amongst other things. And that's going to be all for today, guys. Let's go back to the anchors. Wow. Right? I think our school can do much better than that. How come? Because we're going to have a bioscience compost again. That's right. Starting <laughs> February 9th, right? Yep, February 9th. Before your compost, make sure to know where your food and packaging goes. Yeah, guys, students will have to go to the compost by hand, so no trash mixes in. Speaking of brave people, if any one of you guys wants to be an anchor for Dragon News, then you guys should definitely sign up. That's right. You and a friend can ask Miss Simon or someone from broadcasting to give it a try. We'll have Google Forms ready for you guys. Make sure to check out Emoto as well. In other news, we have a quick message from Dr. Batzel. Good morning, Dragons, and happy new semester. Congratulations on a strong first semester, and it's great to have you back for second semester. So you've probably heard um, that we have some things that staff are learning about and trying in new ways. Um, and I wanted to just um, thank you for your patience in that as we are learning our way um, through those. And the first one is restorative practices. And so I don't know if you've noticed, but um, your teachers are probably doing more community building with you and trying to really strengthen the community in your classroom, whether it's circles or games or get to know you activities. And then we're also working on trying to work through conflict in a positive way instead of maybe the old way where you know somebody would just get a referral and then they'd get a, uh, like a detention or a suspension and they'd come back to class but nothing had really changed so we're really trying to work on relationships and helping people mend the relationships that have been harmed through 
just being human and making mistakes um, and growing up and learning. Uh, so that's restorative practices. And then the other thing that we've been working on, which again, you've been patient with, is competency-based grading, which is kind of a new way of assessing you and hopefully um, seeing your growth and then also rewarding you for growing versus kind of punishing you for in the past, maybe you didn't do so well on something early in the semester, but you've learned since then. Competency-based grading is all about sharing with you what it means to be proficient or competent in a skill or a concept. Uh, that can be through rubrics or descriptors. And then having you actually self-assess where you're at in that proficiency scale, um, and then kind of making some goals for yourself to like, here I'm at a two, but I'd like to be at a three, and here's what I need to do. And then knowing you know, what you need to do, and then the teachers know how they need to help you as well. So um, that is kind of in the works, and we're looking at um, having the full school implementation of that next August. So thank you for your patience in the meantime with that. Um, but really, it's, it's for learning. It's so that you guys know exactly what you need to do to be proficient, and then also to give you kind of the power, the empowerment of doing those things um, that you know you can do to move to proficiency. Um, also, thank you for those of you who are helping in Town Hall. We're still shorthanded with maintenance. Um, and we really appreciate those of you who are helping to pick up after yourselves, uh, pick up after other people too, we noticed that, and then um, and stacking the chairs. So thank you so much for that. And also just a note, remember that for your IDs, you can only use your own ID, you cannot use somebody else's ID. You can't pick up a lunch for them by using somebody else's ID. We're on very strict rules with our federal program for lunches, and so it has to. we can only give the lunches to the person who is the person on the ID. Um, so remember to only use your ID. If you need a new ID, come get one in the office. Um, I think they're like $2 for a replacement. Um, so make sure you have your current ID. Thank you, Dr. Batslow. <laughs> now you're acting weird. I'm not acting weird. I'm dancing to the song of the week. Which is? Gitchy Gitchy Goo by Phineas and Ferb. Ooh, all-time classic. Bow, 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 wow. That's what my baby says. Bow, bow, bow. And See you next time, time dragons. Bye. 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 I'm Jasmine and, and I'm <laughs> Hey Jaggins! Hey what? Hey Valentine think meme gram. <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> no, you messed it up! Um, no, I'm not. I really wanted the deluxe package though. <laughs> the deluxe package? Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording? No. Okay. Doesn't that red mean well, that you're actually being, recording? You're being, being too loud. Wow. Doesn't that red mean you're recording? Oh yeah, I was recording. <laughs> you aren't getting the Valentine's Day. How do you know if you're not getting one yet, though? <laughs> it's so scrupulous. <laughs> I, I, I want to eat. I, I don't know my line. Time. You don't mean. Yep. World news no, time. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Just start, just start. Oh.